America needs heroes, and they need to know the heroes of this conflict. They don't need to know Britney Spears and, and what's going on. They need to know Marcus Luttrell and David Bellavia. David Bellavia, Staff Sergeant, nominee for the Medal of Honor, recipient of the Silver Star for his actions in Fallujah, author of the book, House to House, a dear friend of mine and a co-founder of Vets for Freedom. He came back and said, you know what, I've served my country in uniform. Now it's time to come back and tell the stories of the guys overseas and what they're doing and get the word out. And he has done an incredible job. We've got no better spokesman for this cause. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for David Bellavia. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you. I just want to tell the people over here, please, I'm touched. Take a seat. Oh, wait a minute, you have to stand. I'm sorry. I thought this was like a big deal. I'm sorry. I want to thank, where's, where's Mr. John Voigt? Mr. Voigt, listen, for, I'm going to speak on behalf of all these people, which I don't normally do. You've got nothing left to prove in acting, okay? All right? We know you're the best. You got the Oscar. Listen, we, I, I think you have a future in Hollywood. How about Senator Voigt? What do you think about that? One more. One more actor from California that actually stands by principles and represents. I would be proud to see you in Washington one day, sir. God bless you. And thank you for everything you're doing for us, sir. God bless you. All right. All right, real quick. I don't sing, people. This is it. I want to I wanna thank you. This organization started out just a bunch of guys coming home, and we just got fed up. We're absolutely fed up. And uh, the only reason why we're here today is because of a captain named Pete Hegseth. This organization took off because of his passion and a steadfast loyalty and leadership. This is an American patriot. And Pete, thank you very much for everything you do for Vets for Freedom. Thank you. That being said, this Heroes Tour is not about the people on this stage. This is not what, a, what the heroes are about. The heroes are the individuals that are in every stinking city that serve, that don't get the attention, that don't get the awards, the wives, the kids that don't have a dad for six to 15 months. These are the heroes. More importantly, the heroes that we left in Arlington National Cemetery, the heroes that are convalescing at local VA hospitals. That's what this is all about. And uh, I, I wanna just say from the bottom of my heart, that what keeps us motivated is to see a city like San Diego, which is all about patriotism and service. God bless all of you. We can't start a hero's turn unless you start it in San Diego, California. So thank you guys very, very much. Last thing, last thing before I, I'll let you uh, hit the shish kebabs again. Someone over here has just been going crazy with that teriyaki chicken. Give this, give these people a break, all right? There's other food stations for the love of God. But I want to say one thing about Marcus Luttrell. Marcus Luttrell was an American hero before he decided to join the Navy. He's not a hero because anything that happened to him or his peers in Afghanistan. This is an individual who came home, who could be sitting home right now, and instead of doing so, all he does is redeflect the attention to men like Michael Murphy, Medal of Honor recipient, Danny Dietz, Navy. There, there are so many people to mention, but that is what this is all about. Rafael Peralta the next Medal of Honor recipient, gave his life in Fallujah, Jason Dunham. These are the people we need to remember as the men and women who gave their life, not because of a dental plan or because of college money, but because they believe that our culture and our way of life are being threatened. And God bless their sacrifice. It's not going to be in vain, so help me God. Thank you very much. Up next, up next, we're bringing up a guy. Picture it. It's December it's 2003. I'm getting ready to go to Iraq. I'm in, in Vilsack, Germany. And I am down on my luck because I'm watching the news and the news is bad coming out of Iraq. And then I heard the, the news. We got him. And that was Saddam Hussein. My morale built up. I was ready to roll into Iraq. And the man who was responsible for that is Lieutenant Colonel Steve Russell, serving out of the 4th Infantry Division, commanding a task force that got that evil, evil man, Saddam Hussein. Ladies and gentlemen, Colonel Steve Russell.